Good morning, and welcome to our reflection on the third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Mary and the Apostles at Pentecost. Right? This is an incredible, incredible moment in our lives. Because this is the moment where we became equipped with the incredible power of the Holy Spirit, the power of God himself. In a sense, we could say that what Jesus established in the church is like this huge, incredible, like the most incredible piece of like technology, right? Using an analogy. It's like this incredible piece of technology, this electronic like device that's gonna be amazing and, and change our lives. And when the Holy Spirit came, it's like plugging it in. It's like putting the batteries in, right? And in some sense, that, that life of the church, that's, that's our life. This is like receiving our spiritual batteries, being stirred up and given the power that we need to be who it is that we're called to be. Not just to be like good in ourselves, but to get out and be instruments that make a difference in the world. And I specifically, concretely use that word instrument very specifically. We speak sometimes about how we're called to be instruments of God. Right? And to let God use us the way he will. Right? Imagine, let's say like a trumpet or a flute, trombone, right? Whatever instrument it is that, that you want to imagine, imagine that you're this instrument and God is the one who's going to play his song, his music through you. Right? He's going to sing this song through you. So in life, it's important that we don't just say, I'm going to make my own kind of music. I'm going to do whatever it is that I want, right? That sometimes might, if we just do our own thing, we might be in dissonance, not in harmony with the, the, the opus that God, the symphony that God is trying to make with the world, with things in, in proper order, right? So God, we need to be willing to say, okay, God, I desire for, I'm going to let you use me the way you desire to use me to, to play a song that's going to move other people, that's going to move hearts, move people to live the right way, right? This can be beautiful, but God's going to play. He's going to play the instrument. We are the instance we're going to let God use us. But in order for a trumpet, a trombone, a flute, a clarinet, a tuba, whatever instrument you want to envision yourself as that God has created you to be, what needs to happen, right? If I'm a musician and I'm holding an instrument, there's one more thing that has to happen in order to actually make the music, and that's breath, right? There has to be a blowing of this air through the instrument. When Jesus, on the resurrection, he appeared, the day of the resurrection, he appeared in the upper room, and it said that Jesus breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. On Pentecost, we hear that there was a noise like a strong driving wind, right? The Holy Spirit is the breath of of God. It is the action, right? If if you have breath, but you never breathe it out, right? You have air. Stagnant air doesn't do anything, right? But if there's a fan and it moves that air and there's that moving breath, it cools us. It refreshes us. In our lives, we need that breath of the Holy Spirit. And this is what happens at Pentecost. God comes and he moves through us. I think sometimes we might say, especially faithful people who love the Lord, we might say, Lord, I'm ready to have you use me, do whatever you want, and we can make that prayer, but then we struggle to actually move. We struggle to actually be active with it. We need to pray today, and we need to ask the Lord with the breath of his spirit to allow his spirit to actually move through us, to not be stagnant, but to truly, truly move through us in an incredible way. I realize as I'm filming this video that there have been all kinds of like traffic and noise like there weren't in the first two and I think that's beautiful because it's a response. It's I think it's God saying, yeah, make some noise. Make some noise. We, the world around us is noisy and we need to let the Spirit move through us so that we can sing God's song and so that we can make God's noise in the world that needs it. Don't let God's voice and his music be drowned out. Let God use you. And don't be afraid because you have the Holy Spirit. Let the Spirit move through you to make the music that God wants to make so that people in the world might know that they are loved. Be who God is calling you to be today. And with the help of the Spirit, make the noise, make the music that God desires for you to make. 
Have a great day and enjoy making music.